This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk about what to do if you jammed your finger. So a lot of people jam their fingers. A really common mechanism is you're playing and you catch a ball and it just jams it right on the finger. Um, so the first thing you want to do is make sure that it really is a jammed finger and not a broken finger or there's no tendon damage. A broken finger, you'll know it'll hurt more. There'll be a lot of bruising and swelling. The finger may be rotated or deformed. And you'll know if you have tendon issues. Um, a good rule of thumb is if you can't get your finger all the way straight or you can't bend it or something like that or something feels off, then you may have tendon in in issues. But if supposing there's no tendon, no fracture, and you just jammed it, what, what, what should you do? Well, fingers like to get stiff really easily. So if you know you don't have a broken finger with no tendon damage and it's just a jammed finger, um, the best thing to do is just to keep moving it. What you don't want to do is just leave it straight for too long and let it get stiff. Now, if you put it in a splint for a few days, that's not a bad thing. Um, but otherwise, you just want to keep moving it and keeping it flexible. If it hurts, you don't have to squeeze or lifting any, anything with it, but you certainly want to keep moving it. Um, ice is good. Ice usually decreases inflammation or anti-inflammatories like Advil or Motrin. You don't really want to do heat. Uh, heat kind of increases inflammation. It's better for muscles, while ice is better for joints. Um, but honestly, if you jam your finger, you just kind of keep using it. If, there's, if it's not broken or no tendon injuries, you should be okay and it should go away. Just note that if you do jam your finger and the knuckle's really irritated, sometimes that swelling can take almost a year to go away. Um, so note that it could bother you for quite some time and it may be a little bulging for quite some time. But again, first thing to do, make sure it's not broken or seriously injured. And then if it is just jammed, just keep using it the best you can and uh, you really should be fine. So I hope I answered your questions about what to do if you jammed your finger. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond, but I can't give you medical advice about your specific condition. Um, if you like this video, we put out new content every week, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.